I was thinking about gardens and I was thinking about Jesus not long before he died he was in a garden and he was praying in the Hello, today I thought we could start with a game and I'm outside in the garden because uh, it's a really nice day and we're, we're going to play a game or I'm going to play a game for you to join in with maybe and it's called the Bean Game and I think we've maybe played it before but if you just watch I'll demonstrate and you can maybe play it later. Right, so uh, what have we to do first? Uh, runner Beans. Runner Beans! You have to run around! You have to run around! Right, uh, jumping Beans. Jumping Beans! Jumping Beans! You jump like a bean! Right, uh, kidney Beans. Kidney Beans! Oh that you've got to hop and hold I'm not very good at that one. If I get tired, you can say... Freeze. Freeze. You can freeze when I'm tired. Right, bake beans. Bake beans, right. Okay, it's a nice sunny day. You have to lie and bake in the sun. Like a bake bean. Like uh, broad beans. Broad beans. You have to move around like you're broad. Make broad shapes. <laughs> Right, uh, string beans. String beans, well that's stringy, stringy beans. <laughs> well, I'm getting tired now. <laughs> right, chili beans, that's one. Chili beans, yeah, if you're cold, you're chilly, aren't you? Oh, is that them all? That's them all, yeah. Well, I'm really tired. I can freeze. <laughs> I can freeze now. So I hope you can remember all that and you can maybe play it later if you can't play it just now. Okay, I think I'm having a rest now, thank you. Well, that was good fun. I've had to take my jumper off. Now I'm too warm. Hope you get a chance to play a game like that, or that game, out in the garden. Um, I thought it was really a nice day to be in the garden. And uh, it was a good chance to play outside. And to sing outside as well. I'm going to sing in a minute. Um, but today I was thinking about gardens and I was thinking about Jesus. Not long before he died... He was in a garden and he was praying in the garden. So Jesus thought it was really important to pray. We often read about him praying. So today we're going to be thinking about prayer and how to pray, as well as some of the stories that we've already had. But I know a song that says prayer is like a telephone because we can talk to God at any time, just like a phone, just like a telephone. Here it is. Join in if you know it. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to God. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. Pick it up and use it every day. You can shout out loud, you can whisper softly, you can make no noise at all, but, but he'll always hear our call. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to God. For us to talk to Jesus, pick it up and use it every day. Pick it up and use it every day. We'll maybe sing that again in a minute or two. I was thinking of a, a book, a story that Jesus used. It wasn't really a story. Jesus taught his disciples to pray because they were asking him, how do you pray? What, what should we say? And this book that I'm using is a book that we sometimes use at After School Club called the Jesus Storybook Bible. And here's the picture, the page I'm going to read first. Okay, it says, in those days, there were some extra super holy people. At least that's what they thought, and they were called Pharisees. 
every day they would stand out there in the middle of the street and pray out loud in extra super holy voices. They really weren't praying so much as just showing off. They used lots of special words that were not clever, that were so clever, but no one could understand what they meant. People walking by would stop by and stare, but that's what the extra super holy people wanted. They wanted everyone to look at them. <clears throat> Perhaps you did have to be really clever, the people thought, or important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of difficult, clever words, but that's not right, is it? So one day, here's the next page. This is Jesus teaching people to pray. Jesus didn't want extra holy words. So one day, Jesus taught people how to pray. He said, when you pray, don't pray like these extra super holy people. They think if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's not because you're so clever or good or so important that God will listen to you. God listens to you because he loves you. Did you know that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whisper deep inside your heart, even before you've started to say it? A bit like in the song when it said you can make no noise at all. Because God knows exactly what you need before you ask him. You see, God just can't wait to give you all that you need. You don't need to use long or special words. You don't have to have a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice. Like this. And then he gave them some words. I'm going to read the words that we have when we, when we do it in the church. In the book, they're slightly different. They're a wee bit more modern. But I think this, this is easier for us to remember. This is the words that Jesus said. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. You see, Jesus was showing people that God would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So they didn't need special words to say. All they needed to say was words like the Lord's Prayer or words of their own. It didn't really matter. So that's in this book. We had a story that involved people praying. I wonder if you remember. We do, we do have it in this book. This book that we've had quite a lot, Diary of a Disciple. Do you remember this? A few days later, Peter and John were on the way to the temple. They were on their way to pray when they saw a man who couldn't walk being carried on a mat. A man who couldn't walk because his legs didn't work properly. So Peter and John were going to pray. They went to pray every day. So praying was important to them too. And we had it in that story in, in from that book too. And I that just brings to mind the song. Peter and John went to pray. They mm. met a lame man on the way. Yes, the song is Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. They went to pray. Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. He asked them for arms and held out his palms. And this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I unto you. In the name So they were on their way to pray because they believed and they knew that prayer was really important. And every day they went to the temple to pray. 
I think we have a craft now that um, Ross has done and it's about praying hands. We often have the, the prayer song, Father I place into your hands. The things that I can't do and it's got lots of really good words that help us to pray and we can say them or sing them. So I'll hand over to Ross now. Thank you Ross. So this week I will be doing a craft with you again. So we will be making little praying hands looking like that. So you won't need much for this craft. All you'll need is a piece of card like that, some colouring paints. I will be using a Sharpie pen like that. We'll also need a ruler and a pair of scissors. So let's begin. First thing we are going to do is we are going to take the piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half like this. So something easy to start with. Next, we are going to draw a line across the page. I would say around four centimeters up. If you struggle with the measurements, you can get your parents to help you with it. So I've already done it like that. Make sure if you're right-handed, put the fold on the, on the right-hand side of the page. And if you're left-handed, put the fold on the left-hand side of the page. I'm right-handed, so I have it on my right here. So, yeah. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is just above the line, we're going to put our hand on the page like that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing around our hand. Make sure that the tip of your thumb is next to the crease line. Okay, we're going to take our pen and we are going to draw around the hand. Can do that nice and quickly. So mine now looks like this. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut them out. It's a good job for your parents if you don't want to do this. So just cut along the line and make sure with this bottom bit just to keep it there because we'll need that later on in the craft. So cut all the way around. Do this one nice and quickly as well. Now that we've cut it out, it now looks like this. So if you were right-handed, um, you'll have your fold on the right-hand side. Turn it around so it will now be on the left-hand side. And when you open it, it'll look like a book. If you're left-handed, you don't have to do this bit, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the pen and we are going to write praying hands. So I'll write it so praying hands. So, right, praying hands on the page, just like that. You can now decorate the front cover to whatever you want it to look like. But you might want to leave that to the end. I will be leaving it to the end. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do 
we're going to open it up so it looks like that. Now we've got a few words to write on it. I think you'll recognise them. So onto the hand on the left hand side, write the words Father, I place into your hands Father, I place into your hands. Hold that up so you can see it. Father, I place into your hands. And then on this hand, you might want to choose a different coloured pen. Write the words. The things I, the things that I can't do. The. Things that I can't do. So we've got Father, I place into your hands the things I cannot do. Okay. So you're probably wondering what this bottom bit's for. So, that we just need to write a few more words onto that. So what we need to write on the bottom is, For I know For I know I always can trust you. I always can trust you. So for I know, I always can trust you. You might have noticed, but this is, all these words are from our final prayer that we usually do, from the song, Father I, Father, oh God, Father I place into your hands. So, yeah, this is your craft. So on the front we've got praying hands and then you can decorate it all you want. And then Father I place into your hands the things I can't that I can't do. For I know that for I know I always can trust you. So thank you for joining in with this craft. Um, I hope you enjoyed doing it. Also, keep a hold of all your crafts so when we come out of lockdown, we can show everyone what we've been making at home at the church when we get to meet again. So yes, thank you and back to Jennifer. Bye. Thank you once again, Ross. It's my praying hands. It's good, isn't it, that we can place everything into God's hands. Father, I place into your hands the things that I can't do, I've put, for I know I always can trust you. These are really helpful words when, to help us to pray as well. I wonder if you've noticed that I've all, we've been talking about prayer a lot today, but we've also shown quite a few books. Because I was going to tell you about some free books. What was that I said? 
Did I say free books? Yes, I did. If you keep watching, by the end of this programme, you'll know how you can get a hold of some free books, absolutely free, from the After School Club online. And included, there'll be this, this book. And this one, The Diary of Disciple, the Jesus Storybook. But not only that, there'll also be... There's a, an activity book that goes with the Diary of the Disciple book. There's a few of those available. But not only that, in the in the box of books, the free books, there'll be some books for maybe if you've got a little brother or sister or young ones in your family, you can maybe take a free book for them too that's more suited to their age. And there's some Jungle Doctor ones. <clears throat> also, for... The adults in your family, if you want to take a book, maybe somebody in your family likes to read that's a grown-up. This one says, before you say I don't believe, and it's got some nice short things in it. And with the books, there's a little leaflet that you can give to a grown-up as well. It says, hope beyond coronavirus. So keep watching this space and we'll tell you more about the free books. Did I say free books? Yes, I did say free books. We'll find out towards the end how you can get a hold of the free books. But just now, I was just thinking about prayer. And my, my dad used to have a really good way of helping you to remember what to pray for and who to pray for. Something to do with hands as well. So I'm going to see if I can find my dad now and get him to do that. Oh, there you are, Dad. I was just telling them at the uh, After School Club online that you had a good way of remembering what to pray for. A handful of prayer hints. Now, I know you're wearing your dark glasses because you've just had a cataract operation. And the bright light. And the bright light dazzles you a bit, but you can still talk. So, maybe can you tell us, what, what was that way of using your hand to help you remember to pray? Using your hands. So what did... Oh, see, I, I said it helped me to remember what the Lord Jesus said. He says, I want you to love others as I love you. Now, the word love <laughs> get many shades of meaning. I mean, it doesn't always have to do with kissing and cuddling. We talk about loving chocolate and this kind of thing, so on and so on and so on. But it really means to want the best for others. And before that verse, he says, I want you to love your enemies, to want your best for them. So my hand, all my fingers, tell me the people that I should want the best for. Right? Okay, so do you start with your thumb? So why? Why do you start with my thumb? Because usually it's the nearest and dearest to me, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't even tie my laces without my thumb. I couldn't even write without my thumb properly anyway. But no, for sure, all those things with you. So your thumb? So pray for your nearest and dearest, and uh, you can think of a whole list, no bother at all, and no mention of it. It'll take me too long, but they're in your mind. Uh, and to hear this one, this is the one we point with. Sometimes it can be a rude to point, but not in this case. It means pray for those who point us in the right direction. And pray for the forgiveness of people who point you in the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah. But so that, that, that would be te oh, I teachers, eh? Teachers point, don't they? Yeah, and yeah, that's okay. Teachers, oh, again, it would be a big, big long list there. Eh? But anybody who points you in, in the, the right, right direction. direction. Yeah, I, I can make a long list and I better stop. There and go on to the next one. Well, when you look at the, the, your hand at that, the one in the middle looks the biggest thing. It's tall, sure. yeah. I'm sure they're just the same measurement. But that's what they look at. Well, what does that tell me to remember? To want the best for. I want the best for the big people in this world. The most important... Yeah, you don't mean the tall people, you mean the no, important right. people. The, 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 all the important people, well, the, the Queen, the Royal Family, the MP... The people in the MPs and... So on, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up using the phrase, you could get a long list for everyone. And then this one... Yeah, I well, remember that, playing I, the piano. Musicians always call that, well, with you, I don't know what they do now, they have advanced for then, but in my day we called that the weakest finger. 
because you could run two notes together and they bother with other fingers. But see, with that one, it was it, it was like somebody with a wooden leg, you know. And it, it came with training. So we have to pray for all who are weak in any sense. Weak in body, weak in mind, weak in spiritual things, weak in morals, etc., etc. Et Again, I'm fed up saying the word. Uh, yes, yeah, so oh, anybody yeah, who's weak. something extra special about this finger as well. You know what it was? It's the marriage finger. Right. And I don't know, somebody told me it's not true, but, but uh, in, in my day, the doctors and everybody that were experts said that that finger has a closer connection with your heart than any other. I can't even mind whether it was the arteries or the veins right, or the other okay. area, but it's got a thicker, a better approach for the heart. And they said that's why it's the marriage finger. Right. You want the best. But it so when you pray, you want the very best for all who are thinking of being joined together in marriage. Right. And the last, the last one, one. The last one is yourself. Make sure you it's bring yourself. It's small, back. isn't it? Now, if you follow all these good advices, then my fingers get me. You'll get real joy. Because you know why? J-O-Y. Take each letter to begin the word. You're bringing Jesus first because you're doing what he wants you to do. Bring okay. Jesus first. Then you're bringing others next. Because you're praying for them, pray for yeah. Others. And the last one was yourself. And if you take J-O-Y, Jesus first, others next, yourself last. And in your personal life, the O in the middle can be like a nothing. So let nothing come between Jesus and you. And if that's what we're going to be sincere about, we'll carry out his great desire. And what was that? He says, I want you to love others as I love you. Okay, that's great. And we can do that if we pray for all these others. Thank you for that helpful hand of prayer hints. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. That's really a helpful way. And I still use that sometimes to remember who to pray for and in what order. So that's really good. A handful of prayer help, helps. So let's sing prayer is like a telephone because we don't want to forget that we can talk to God at any time. We can pray to God at any time with any words. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to God. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus, pick it up and use it every day. You can shout out loud, you can whisper softly, you can make no noise at all, he will always hear our call. Prayer is like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. For us to talk to God Prayer is like a telephone For us to talk to Jesus Pick it up and use it every day Pick it up and use it every day Once more Pick it up and use it every day Now, just before we finish with a prayer, I'm going to it'll come on the screen where you can get those free books. Did I say free books? Yes, well, it'll come on the screen uh, when you can get them and when you can pick them up. Uh, they're going to be outside the first church in a box that'll say free books beside it. And then in the next few days after that, I think we're going to put them outside the Rendell Community Centre might be a good place for the people that live out that way. They'll only be there for a day or two, so you have to get there quick. They'll be at the Rendell Community Centre from the Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Uh, Wednesday will be the 3rd of June and it'll be the following Sunday after that. Uh, that that you'll be able to, I think that'll be the 7th of June, 
that you'll be able to get them there. There'll be details on the Facebook page as well. Okay, so if you don't manage to get those, you can get them. This is week 10, and I haven't said that. This is week 10, and the, the company that has those books are called 10ofthose.com. If you look that up in Google, you can get these books from 10ofthose.com. It's easy to remember because it's week 10 that we've talked about it. Uh, they won't be free there, of course. Okay, we said we're going to finish off with a prayer. So the, the slide will come up telling you about the free books and then we'll have the prayer which has to be Father I place into your hands. And please try and sing along with it because you're really saying or, or singing, the, singing a prayer when you sing those words. So you'll see the slide about the free books and then it'll go straight to Father I place into your hands. Thank you and looking forward to see you in week 11. Bye. Just the first two verses of Father I place into your hands. Father I place into your hands the things that I can't do. Father I place into your hands the times that I've been through. Father I place into your hands the way that I should go, for I know I always can trust you. Father, I place into your hands my friends and family. Father, I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be, for I know I always can trust you.